love the film, guys. I I got to say that I didn't like hearing the Apple phone alarm during it. I feel like there should be a trigger warning when it starts. Like, well, this film <laughs> may contain your morning. This film may contain your morning alarm because I, whenever I hear that, I just shudder. Other than that, great job. Uh, no, I'm, <laughs> that was a debate we had ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My uh, my first question really is: I'm I'm fascinated in how this film is kind of devised from a kind of screenplay perspective. Do you write the bones of the kind of story and then slowly build it using technology, or do you write the entire story and then decide how each scene can be presented on which format? Well, the writers of the first movie, Sev Ohanian and Anish Chaganti, uh, wrote the bones of this in an outline that they gave uh, me and Nick to adapt into a screenplay and direct. Uh, I think in terms of the technology aspect of it, it, it part of what's cool about this movie, honestly, is that it, it's the goal is to make it as chicken and egg as you possibly can. So I think we just you know had a list of, of things that would be cool moments on computer screen movies and then a bunch of sort of you know, family-related sort of uh, emotional storylines and then just look for little overlaps. And in terms of making things kind of plausible, which I think you guys do a wonderful job in doing, um, to, obviously to tell a story utilising effectively just a kind of computer screen, do you have to kind of go over it with a kind of fine-tooth comb in the edit just to make sure nothing feels kind of contrived in the way it's been put together? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm. I mean, we we spent, to put it in perspective, we spent about a month shooting the film and then we spent about two years, you know, in, in the edit bays working with our awesome editors, um, Ariel Zakowski and Austin Keeling. And it's just like, it's a, it's a painstaking process because everything you're seeing on screen, um, none of it is screen recorded. It's, it's all created from scratch. So in many ways, it's like an animated movie where every, every frame is poured over. So um, nothing is by mistake. I'll say that. It's all by design. Yeah, because I love all like the details in the background. Even when you when you kind of show the screen, you can see other texts that June might have got in the past. Uh, do, was it quite fun devising all that sort of side of stuff? And was it who who kind of did that? Sometimes I know when people have little moments like that, they sort of let other sort of producers and kind of like editors and stuff put their own little input. Or was it always quite meticulous in what you wanted in those? In those uh, it, it was a huge team effort, but uh, I mean the attention to detail. You know, everybody had. We all looked at. Um, I remember uh, Sev created this, or I, really it was an email thread we were all on, but yeah. he created this like doc that we all added Easter idea, so egg ideas to. It. Yeah, he's really <laughs> passionate about the Easter eggs. Yeah. And then, uh, I mean, you know, Nick, my co-director, wrote a lot of copy. We all chipped in at some point or the other. The editors, the assistant editors, uh, yeah. It keeps us entertained and, and hopefully for people that watch, you know, multiple times and, and get to watch at home, especially if you pause the movie, there's always something in there that we've we've peppered and we, we, we really care about the audience and want them to have a, a full experience. The only sort of uh, downside was I just spoke to Storm and found out, because in the film, she hasn't got WhatsApp downloaded and she has to get it to speak to Jean. <laughs> and I thought, I just realized, I've just discovered that young people don't use WhatsApp. <laughs> now I feel like really, really old. Really? I, I thought just Americans don't use WhatsApp. I don't um, know how it is in the it is, a, it is a slightly, like, mm. my parents all have whatsapp and really? like my little sister had to download it like june yeah so every time i go to abroad i the first thing i do is download whatsapp, WhatsApp but yeah. i never use it here but yeah. you're you're not you're not that young well, i'm not that young you're not as young as you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, obviously, June uses technology in a really positive way in this film. Obviously, she's trying to find her mum. But do you find it a bit terrifying just how easily we can all be kind of hacked and followed, even the whole kind of location services side to the, to the story? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's funny. It makes me think about, I mean, there's a reason, I guess, that movies tried forever to avoid. They'd always make excuses for why a phone doesn't have service or something yeah. because it's just the implications are too big to think about. And, yeah, I mean, we try to lean into that in this movie, the good and the bad. Uh, and the ugly. <laughs> and I, like I said, I really enjoyed the film. So it's not a slight on the film at all, but I'm interested to know your thoughts on the film's kind of longevity. You mentioned how people kind of watching it over and over. And because in a sense, the film's quite specific to the modern world. And I just wondered about making it feel timeless and just wondering what you did to make it sort of have the ability to resonate with people across 10, 20 years. And if you think it could work almost as a nostalgia piece in years to come. Yeah, it's funny, you know, we, our approach to it from a, from a story perspective um, is to first and foremost, make a good thriller, right? So that's at the core of it. And, and um, you know, so crafting a, a story that's thrilling and that holds up, and then we kind of go into it and say, well, how do we elevate it with, with the tech and the format and the POV? So I think at the end of the day, we're striving to make something cinematic, and I, and I hope in that way that it holds up. But we kind of joked in the edit that 
basically as we're making the film, it became a period piece because the tech would change, you know, constantly, like iOS would update. And so it, it kind of, in a way, immediately dates itself. But I think that's kind of cool because it's like a time capsule. It's going to have an awkward age and then it's going to be like just a great, yeah. great nostalgia piece, like you said. I'm very excited about that, actually. Yeah. There might be cinemas showing it on its like 20th anniversary. <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. Well, anyway, thank you so much, guys. Best, best thank of luck you. with the release. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.